Have you ever wondered how Netflix knows what show you'll want to watch next? Or how Google finds exactly what you're looking for, faster than you can blink? The secret behind it all is something you've probably heard before. Algorithms. But what is an algorithm really? And how do they actually work? Let's break it down, plain and simple. An algorithm is simply a set of instructions. Think of it like a recipe. When you make pancakes, you follow steps. Step one, mix flour and eggs. Step two, add milk. Step three, heat the pan. Step four, pour the batter and cook. Those are instructions to reach a goal, delicious pancakes. In the same way, algorithms are instructions that computers follow to solve problems or perform tasks. It could be something simple, like sorting a list of numbers, or something complex, like predicting which product you're likely to buy next. The key is that algorithms are repeatable, logical, and step-by-step. -step. Computers love that. You interact with algorithms every single day, often without realizing it. They decide what posts show up in your social media feed. They determine which emails get marked as spam. They recommend music, map your route, suggest who to follow, and even power facial recognition. From search engines to shopping apps, dating platforms to fitness trackers, algorithms are everywhere. They help us filter through overwhelming amounts of data and make decisions faster than any human could. At the core, most algorithms follow a basic model. Input, process, output. Here's a simple example. Let's say you search for best noise-canceling headphones. Input, your search term. Process, the algorithm analyzes your words, looks at past searches, filters product reviews, and maybe even considers what similar users clicked. Output, a list of products ranked by relevance. Now, let's look at a social media example. When you open your feed, the platform's algorithm doesn't just show you the newest posts. Instead, it considers what you've liked, commented on, how long you watch videos, what others are interacting with, and more. It ranks content by engagement and relevance, not time. That's why it feels like the app knows you. Some algorithms even learn over time. That's called machine learning. These systems adjust their behavior based on your feedback, preferences, or corrections. The more data they get, the smarter they become. But here's the twist. Algorithms aren't perfect. They only follow the instructions we give them. If the data is flawed or biased, the results will be too. That's why algorithms sometimes recommend the wrong product or show biased hiring results or keep you stuck in a filter bubble, seeing only what you already agree with. Algorithms are tools, not magic. And as powerful as they are, they still need human oversight. The tech world is now paying closer attention to algorithm transparency and ethics, especially as AI becomes more involved. So next time Spotify gets your music mood right, or YouTube suggests a perfect video, or Google finishes your sentence before you even type it, just remember, an algorithm is working behind the scenes, following a recipe, learning from your behavior, and serving up a solution. Thanks for watching BytePlane, where we explain complex tech in plain language. If this helped you understand algorithms better, hit like and subscribe for more videos that make tech simple. See you in the next one.